I pray that you're having a great weekend, and one way to do this is not to allow anything in the past, and the past is including yesterday, to rob you of the blessings of this present moment. Here's what Winston Churchill once said about that. He said, if we open a quarrel between past and present, we shall find that we have lost the future. Philippians 3, 13 and 14 says the same thing. And this is what I ask you to do. It's your homework assignment this weekend. This one thing I do, one thing that you will do this weekend, one thing that you'll do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. Now, forgetting is an act of the mind, and reaching forward is also an act of the mind. You're going to not dwell on the past. You're going to dwell on future and the present. And I continue. I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Let me tell you a story. During his 13-year tenure at Notre Dame, Newt Rockney, he gained a prominent and a permanent place in football history. His teams enjoyed five undefeated seasons and featured such stars as the Four Horsemen, the legendary George Gipp, Newt Rockney, he advised this. He said, the past is history. Make the present good, and the past will take care of itself. See, the coach understood that it's tempting to focus on what might have been. Tempting. But so unproductive. If you're looking for a sure way to improve your tomorrows. Let go of yesterday and take a firm hold of today. Because you can't change the past, but you can change the future one day at a time. And today is the best day to start. So, what are you going to do this weekend? This one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, even yesterday, reaching forward in my mind to the good things that are ahead. God bless you.